Hello, welcome to Colorado's Digital Marketing Grant Webinar. This webinar will summarize the project planning, implementation, findings, and lessons learned regarding the use of digital marketing resources for child support services outreach. This project was possible thanks to the funding from the Federal Office of Child Support Enforcement. Our mission, the Colorado Child Support Services Program works with parents and caretakers to make sure all Colorado kids get the financial support they need to thrive. Colorado Child Support contracted with Center for Policy Research and Spirka Communications to assist us in the development, implementation, and valuation of the project. Today, you will hear from three of us, myself, Heather Rigo from Colorado Child Support, Maggie Spain from Spirica Communications, and Ann Byrne from Center for Policy Research. The purpose of our project was to investigate the effectiveness of utilizing digital marketing to reach and attract more families to the child support program. Child support, along with project partners, designed and implemented three time-bound marketing interventions, including website redesign and search engine optimization campaign, Facebook sponsored advertising, remarketing and search advertising. As part of the digital marketing project, the Division of Child Support Services engaged six counties throughout the state for participation. We had four counties in the Denver area, Denver County, Adams County, Arapahoe County and Boulder County, as well as two additional counties on the western slope of the state of Colorado, Delta and Montrose. All six of these counties were also participants in the division's two gen project. So they had great understanding of the need for engaging families in different areas. As previously mentioned, our first intervention for Colorado's digital marketing project was a website redesign and search engine optimization campaign. What is showing on this screen is the previous website for the Division of Child Support Services. This site was originally developed in 1996 and not really touched for the 20, nearly 20 years after that. Um, the old site was very clunky, dated, difficult to navigate, uh, only available in Spanish and no other languages. And the biggest problem with the site is that it was not mobile friendly. Prior to the launch of the first intervention, uh, Spearco Communications and Center for Policy Research did an analysis of visitors to the Division of Child Support Services website and what types of devices they were using. We found that nearly 60% of all visitors to the child support website were coming from mobile devices. And once they got there, they couldn't access the information that they needed because the website was not designed to be viewed on mobile devices. So there was a lot of opportunity to create something new, engaging, that would meet the needs of families and their children. The process to develop a new site for the Division of Child Support Services was multifaceted in nature. It really included two key areas, content development and design. The first process was to take a look at the current website content. Um, Spirka created new content for every single page on the site, moving it from a 12th grade reading level to a 7th to 9th grade reading level. The process was designed to simplify child support, make it easier to understand and direct visitors to the site to the information they needed quickly removing acronyms and making sure that families could get the resources they needed. Spirka created the new content and then presented it to subject matter experts to get their engagement. Uh, they reviewed the content, went back and forth with edits before it was finalized and added to the site. Prior to the launch of the new website, uh, we also developed keyword targets for search engine optimization to make sure that we were including content that matched search behavior for visitors to the site. So again, that they could find the information that they needed quickly. 
The process for the design of the new website also took into account overall user experience. Key content portals uh, were created and placed on every page of the site, apply, pay, and log in. Those were three key areas that we knew were important for families to get to as soon as they got to the website to find the information they needed either to apply for child support, to pay their bill, or to log in and view information on their account. We were very intentional with the imagery selected and used on every single page of the site. Colorado followed much of the recommendations that were given from the Ogilvy report that was conducted for the California Division of Child Support in 2018. And this report, through significant and expansive focus group research, found that child support is not a happy event for many parents. It's something that is filled with fear and shame, and it's not a time to place photos of intact happy families, because oftentimes that's not their current situation. Instead, uh, we incorporated photos of individual parents and their children, mom or dad, children by themselves, as well as landscape imagery that really showed off different stunning areas of Colorado and also gave um, recognition to the fact that the state of Colorado is not only mountains, so showcased um, the diversity of landscape, landscapes throughout the state. As part of our first intervention and the website redevelopment, DCSS uh, engaged a variety of stakeholders to make sure that we had significant buy-in in the process. There was an advisory board that was created for the entire digital marketing project, which included individuals from various agencies uh, in the Colorado Department of Human Services, as well as the Child Support Program and our six counties participating in the project. Throughout the process of designing and rewriting the website, we convened multiple subject matter experts in different areas of child support to ensure that the information presented on the website was accurate and clear. And what was also unique for Colorado's project is that we had the unique participation of the Colorado Department of Human Services Family Voice Council. The Family Voice Council is a group of individuals who have either accessed two or more human services programs or have clients using those programs. Uh, the child support program presented to the Family Voice Council at least six times throughout the digital marketing project to get their feedback on the design of the website, content, other creatives used in different interventions. And their feedback was absolutely key to the success of this project because they provided lived experiences um, that really guided the focus of our creative messaging. On the screen here is the new and updated Division of Child Support Services website. There is a large hero image on the homepage that is engaging and connects visitors to the need for um, helping children and improving their lives through child support. Uh, we have the three content portals, apply, pay, and log in. Um, and individuals are able to navigate the services that they need through drop-down menus at the top of the page that clearly and easily get in people to the information they need with a clear search button at the top of every page and contact us. The website is also translated into more than 50 different languages to really meet the needs of Colorado families and their diverse backgrounds. So as the evaluation of this particular intervention, we looked at the website activity relative to a baseline period. The Colorado Child Support website also houses its family support registry Portal. So there's a huge amount of activity that goes on within the, the website as a whole. So we just focused on looking at the activity related to the apply for child support page. Since this, that's a primary focus of this particular grant was to increase enrollments in child support. We compared the activity during the intervention period uh, for two months from September through October in 2019 to a period just a few months before, from June to July. We 
pick this particular baseline period because we need uh, Google Analytics, which is the tool used to measure um, website activity, was not uh, activated until this period. You can see from these results that the activity grew immensely from that just a few months before in June to September with um, almost doubling of the total users and the number of, of new users increased by over 100%, the number of sessions by 82%, the, um, and the pages per session stayed about the same. So this demonstrates that that new, easy to use, engaging website immediately made a difference in the activity and the engagement of people who visited the website. The second intervention, Facebook advertising, was implemented on January 6th and ran through March 31st of 2020. The objectives for the in intervention were to increase the number of people in the target audience that visit the child support website and the apply for services page, as well as increase the number of child support applications submitted by 2% from a baseline that was comparable to the previous year. And part of the second intervention um, was through our six counties, we had a very precise targeting approach. There were 62 zip codes targeted, and those zip codes that were selected had a low uptake of child support services and a higher rate of single parents to custodial parents, with the assumption that there would be a greater need for child support services among that population. We targeted the Facebook ads even further to reach English speaking women aged 30 to 45 with relationship statuses of single, divorced, separated, and it's complicated. The uh, demographic for further targeting was selected based on additional analysis of the average age of uh, child support initiation among applicants to get to that age 30 to 45 range. The Facebook creative that ran during our 10 week intervention included two different ads running at an even frequency in our six counties. The first ad included an infographic icon that included a list of key child support services that individuals could access when they apply for services and create an order. The second ad included a stock photo of young brothers happy and engaged. Um, we use uh, the same probing question for each ad to engage viewers as they were scrolling through their newsfeed. Do you need help getting child support? An attempt to directly connect with an individual and their current concerns. The infographic ad included a slightly different second, se second sentence, um, which mentioned that if you can open a case with the Ch Colorado Child Support Services Program, you'll be able to access many different services that can help uh, you support your family. Again, positioning the child support program as a helpful customer friendly agency. And then the second ad um, included some information on the process to start an order and collect child support. Um, you are able to do that for $20 at a one-time application fee. Also trying to gain and build awareness that it is cheaper and easier to work with the child support program versus a private attorney. The results of this intervention um, are displayed here. You can see we had over a million impressions that went out through individual Facebook feeds to a reach of uh, over 80,000. Um, it generated almost 2,000 clicks. In other words, people interacted with the ad in some way, followed the link to the website or otherwise commented or other interacted with the ad. The click-through rate, which is the ultimate kind of measure of an effectiveness of an ad was 15%, 0.15% for both of the ads. So they virtually um, performed exactly the same, which was interesting. Um, we feel like that was a vote of confidence for both of those. Although in the nature of click-through ads, it's hard to know what is a good result um, a for a click-through rate. Um, 0.15 
percent is a little low relative to kind of industry standards, but there really is no industry standard for this type of agency. Or, uh, so we do know that they performed um, equally well and that they did engage people and solicit new users to the website. An important process that was initiated during the second intervention by the Division of Child Support Services uh, was taking a look at and developing a thoughtful review of comments on social media ads. Throughout the Facebook campaign, there was a lot of concern about how people would respond to the ads from child support and would be inundated by negative comments. We were not. Uh, comments were minimal during the intervention, but those that were posted were mostly negative. To glean greater understanding of the reason why those comments were so negative, the division created a shared spreadsheet um, where we connected the individuals who made the comment to their county of residence and whether or not they had an open or closed child support case. From there, the division connected with the local county uh, child support caseworker to gain better understanding of that individual and their situation and determine whether or not there was a need for additional follow-up. This is another excellent example of the division's commitment to customer service and being helpful and engaging to help Colorado families. During the project, it became clear that there was a need to update our online application process. Since the third intervention was delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Colorado Child Support used the time to modernize our online application. We made changes to the content and the flow of the application, and we also made, we also added the ability for users to electronically sign their application. This was a big change because prior to the change, users had to print sign and mail in a paper copy. In addition to this, Colorado Child Support made its biggest efforts yet and introduced a rule change to remove the application fee for future applicants. That rule was successfully passed and will take effect starting January 1st, 2022. After the exciting implementation of the online application for the Division of Child Support Services, we were ready to begin our third intervention. And the third intervention was delayed not only for the development of the online application, but also due in part to the COVID-19 pandemic. And the division used that time very wisely to convene a group of experts and create the online application to better meet the needs of Colorado parents. So our third intervention officially launched on July 20th and ran through September 28th of 2021. This intervention included three digital marketing platforms that were designed to reach individuals who had already expressed an interest or a need for child support services based on previous internet activity. The first was website remarketing and website remarketing displays advertisements to individuals who had visited a website previously, including specific pages of that website. For Colorado, our website remarketing ads were directed to individuals who had visited the Apply for Services page, as well as the online application. And the ads then were directed to those individuals to come back to complete their application or formally initiate that process. The second platform used in the third intervention was search retargeting. Search retargeting advertisements for Colorado were delivered to women ages 30 to 45 in our six participating counties whose internet search activity indicated designated key child support terms. So individuals who were searching for keyword terms, perhaps how do I apply for child support? Um, how much money will I be paying in child support? Once those searches were initiated, those individuals were then served our search retargeting ads as display ads on local media websites throughout the intervention period. Our third component of the third intervention was a paid search campaign through Google. The sponsored search results were also then targeted directly to women 
ages 30 to 45 in our participating counties um, with the key support terms that were used in their online search. This slide showcases the three different creatives that were used in the third intervention. The first for website remarketing indicates again that the online application is available and we are interested and want users to come back and finish their application. Um, all of the ads for the third intervention uh, focused on key similar terms, ease, convenience, here to help. Um, the search retargeting ad also included a list of services that individuals could access from the child support program once they submit their application. And then on the far right are examples of the paid search campaign that ran throughout the intervention and our two groups one focused on more general child support related terms and the second related to paternity testing and establishing paternity or parentage for children and the value of doing so. Here we have the overall results of the advertisements. You see that they displayed um, over 250,000 times, so pretty wide displays, and then they generated 2,581 clicks. And those were clicks that took them to the website. So it was effective in drawing people to the website. We looked at the click-through rate through the three different types of advertisings. And you see there is a difference here. Um, the remarketing was 0.22 or 0.22%. The search retargeting was only 0.12%, but the click-through rate for the paid search was a whopping 16.42%. Um, it generated 2,929 uh, website sessions, which accounted for 42% of all the sessions on these enrollment web pages. And 1,949 people who came to the website through the ad actually engaged with the online application. Um, we saw 148% increase in the number of people who engaged and started that um, online application. So, this was really promising and exciting results to get from this particular intervention. What we found um, was that the paid search ads performed exceptionally well. They outperformed other types of advertisements and clicks, website use and engagement. And the, um, especially when you compare this click-through rate to kind of uh, that average, again, that's hard to compare with this particular industry, but the overall average click-through rate for paid search advertising is 1.91%. So you see that this is something that we're really excited to, to know. It's also important because throughout the digital marketing project, both for Colorado and other projects that I've evaluated, it's been hard to get a real understanding of the differences and, and most of the ads perform relatively similarly. So this was exciting to see that this was something really important to know that paid search advertising, so targeting those individuals who are already interested in child support really produced high level of engagement and interaction and, and specifically to the application process. So that was very exciting. We also looked at the online application um, engagement. And as Heather mentioned previously, what was on the website before the online application went live was a, an interactive form that individuals interested in applying could fill out, but they could not submit it online. They had to print it out and then submit it in hard copy. So this, app, this process took that need to use the paper copy out of the mix and individuals were able to actually click a button and submit online. So we saw a huge increase in, in, in utilization of the application form from previous periods. Um, we saw that the number of applications that came in through the web or used the web and the online form increased dramatically compared to a prior period. And then we did a survey of those individuals who submitted their application online. We uh, sent out a letter and email and invited them to participate in a survey. And 54% of those who did respond said that they felt like the app, online application was easy. And really exciting or compelling to me was that 60% of those people said they completed the application in one session, which is really terrific given the complexity of the application process. 
And that it's also important to note that almost 40% of them did it on a smartphone. So that's such validation for the need to update the website in the, the first intervention to make it mobile friendly. And, and just a, a recognition again, that people use their smartphones for a wide variety of things, including applying for child support. As you can see, this project has been a huge uh, impact on the program and very transformation. Um, so before we had a 20 year old website, you know, after the project, we had an up to date, easy to use website. Um, the website was inaccessible to mobile users um, that became mobile friendly, uh, mm -hmm. dated content and hard to navigate. There was no digital marketing presence at the time. And we had that April, paper application process. Uh, after, obviously, we're able to update the website and social media content response to parents' needs. Um, Child Support Program was able to get their own social media platforms up and running. Uh, we became fully online application, and we had a lot of insight on effective digital advertising strategies, which is a um, great outcome. And also, we had a robust online presence now. Um, which is great because uh, with everything going digital um, from the pandemic and whatnot, it's great to still be able to engage with the public and our potential customers and our current customers. The other benefits of this project too were that prior to the relaunch of the website, the Division of Child Support Services did not have direct access to make updates to the old website. It was a long, laborious process to uh, really get the information that they wanted updated on the site. And now they have direct access to the website and can make those updates on the fly to provide accurate and up-to-date information to individuals who are visiting the website. That's very important as well. We had many lessons that were learned throughout this project um, and the digital marketing grant. The first is that the development of the website was a complex process. It took a lot of time, involved multiple departments throughout the Department of Human Services. And with that, there was significant buy-in that was required across those departments, including the Department of Human Services um, Office of Information Technology, who really had to do a lot of the lion's share work to um, make sure that the site was running the way it was supposed to be once it was updated. We needed continuous communication throughout the grant, and that is something that we'll need to continue um, in terms of any website development processes moving forward um, to ensure that the information is accurate and um, the site is up to date. We learned several lessons with our creative messaging. The first is that direct and simple messages were most effective at garnering engagement in our Facebook ads, as well as the ads used for our remarketing and paid search. Messages that showed how child support could help parents provide for their children, more transactional in terms of being a helpful resource that is responsive to parents' needs, really generated more engagement and excitement for Colorado. And as previously mentioned, we made sure that our creative did not use uh, two parent families understanding the circumstances that parents applying for child support are going through. We really were intentional in utilizing photos of a mom with children, dad with children, or children by themselves to accurately represent individuals in their lives as they're applying for child support services. And our digital platforms, um, several of the lessons learned included that our Facebook sponsored ads were great for prompting brief engagement on the website, but increasing brand awareness of child support services. They served as an opportunity to really inform individuals who may have no awareness of child support and what the program does to gain that understanding, but those individuals may not be ready or have a need for child support services at the time they see the ad. In contrast, our paid search ads attracted a larger and more engaged response, partly because they were directed to individuals who had already expressed an awareness 
and a need for child support services. The ad served as a reminder to complete an application process and work with the Division of Child Support Services. Following up on what Maggie described, um, it would be easy to say that it wouldn't be useful for the division to, to do another round of Facebook ads because of the difference in the level of engagement and between this and the, the remarketing and search ads from the third intervention. But we really believe that they serve different purposes and that, that it was useful to um, direct advertising to people who may not be familiar with, with child support and understand that that's not necessarily gonna do directly relate to applications received. Because we found that during the Facebook intervention, almost very high numbers of the people who clicked on the ads and came to the website were new users. And so therefore not familiar with child support at all. It's hard to evaluate and determine the impact that will have, but we'd like to believe that it will ultimately lead to new applications. We just can't track them um, in the current setup of things. That being said, we did learn that um, Individuals who are already interested in applying for child support advertising that leverages that um, through remarketing and search advertising is very effective at engaging and encouraging engagement among people who see those ads. And we also discovered that digital marketing and the whole digital framework for an agency is most effective when the digital resources support and complement one another. So the website was an incredible a really important and critical foundation to set during the first intervention so that we were able to direct people to a website that was engaging and um, updated and mobile friendly um, when we did move to the second intervention of the Facebook advertising and the third intervention. And with the third intervention, we were also able to launch that online application and really think of this um, transformational process that the Division of Child Support Services went through um, with the first intervention and the last intervention being bookends that really complemented one another where we had the website in the first hand and then, then the online application finishing things up and then the advertising that we did both in Facebook and through the search and remarketing in the third intervention really creating a very robust and, and informed understanding of how people interact with the website and that the, this particular project and the digital marketing project as a whole really did transform the digital presence that, that the Division of Child Support had. So um, we are grateful, and I just wanna thank the California Department of Child Support Services and the Ogilvy Report, because it really did have a lot of influence in how we went about doing this. And so we appreciate the, the, the opportunity to learn from that and apply it to our project. And with the uh, implementation and the creatives that have been created for this project and just the whole framework that has been developed, DCSS is now set up to really do well with future digital marketing and digital presence. In conclusion, thank you for taking the time to watch our webinar. We hope you find this information useful and please feel free to reach out to any one of us if you have further questions.